Family, friends, and iron workers who didn't even know him turned out by the hundreds Sunday for the wake of 28-year-old Robert Harvey, killed last week in the Goliath crane collapse at the former Quincy shipyard. As they lingered outside Cohane's funeral home in Quincy, people talked about the Weymouth resident who everyone agreed was a real good kid and a highly skilled worker in a dangerous trade. They said they were there to honor Robert Harvey as well as to try and comfort his family. There's the support the community shown us uh, between the police, the sheriff's department, all his brother line workers, uh, all those guys have been fantastic. Plus just people we don't even know just showing up, uh, offering you know, great uh, kind thoughts and uh, they've, been, uh, they've been fantastic. So I mean, um, as far as support goes, you know, it's there, it's already been there. We've had probably a thousand people here already, so it's, you get when you come from good, good stock. There's a hard working kid that just didn't, he's 28 years old and just didn't come home from work, you know, and uh, which what everyone wants to do is, you know, do the right thing, go to work, work hard, take care of your family, and come home at the end of the day. And unfortunately, what we did, so uh, it's just tragic. Uh, it was a great kid. Um, never highly got in trouble at all. Um, I used to see him all the time. He loved playing hockey. He's a great hockey player. The Bruins fan. Yeah, he loved his. He loved yeah. his job. Um, being a steel worker, he loved it. He used to talk about it all the time. He worked on the big dig down here which was, um, he was really excited about that. And then he was excited about this job, but, you know, he's at the wrong place at the wrong time, you know, you know, it's tough for him. It was, you know, it's a baby, you know. Yeah, he was a great kid all around. No trouble at all, he was planning on having a family. What can people do to kind of help the family out, just show up like this and talk about the, the yeah, man they um, remember? This was great, all the people coming down. I mean, all the local uh, seven coming down, it was great. You know, a typical little boy, you know. Mm -hmm. He loved Bobby Orr and hockey, oh, yeah. and that's all he used to talk about. Played you know? hockey. He played hockey when he was little. He was just a great kid. You know, he was always smiling, you know. So. Fearless. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Fearless. There are a lot of iron workers here from all over, aren't there? Oh, absolutely. Probably close to 3,000. So it's, uh, it'll be a good turnout, you know, to show how much we care. Last winter, for about three months, Elver at the Beth Israel Hospital. What was he like? He was just a, a real good, good worker, uh, very smart, uh, energetic, and he, uh, like I said, out of the the crew we had, we had like five guys there, and he was just the nicest out of the bunch. I mean, I, I was kind of like the oldest guy there, being the steward, and. Um, you know, Dave, he'd always ask me, Dave, can I get you anything? Can I help you with anything? You know, and uh, he's just a, just a real nice person. And, uh, and you can see, uh, every, everybody that, I, that, not, that I've talked to that has known has said the same thing. I mean, just a real good kid. Yes, because I guess from what I hear, he was a connector. And that's like one of the dangerous jobs in the uh, ironwork industry. And um, he, uh, he was quite the connector. He did a real good job for uh, whoever he worked for. When we have our union meeting, I know they have a, a dedication at the union meeting, which will be, uh, I think it's the last Wednesday of the month. And they'll probably do something there. And whatever the family needs, I'm sure Local 7 will step up and, and take care of any, any need that they have. This is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger. For more coverage, see today's newspaper or go to patriotledger.com.